the three-piece light adjustable lens can be a little bit tricky to insert at first. After filling the capsular bag with viscoelastic, the temporal incision is widened with the keratone blade to approximately three millimeters to facilitate entry. The LAL is inspected and verified to be loaded appropriately. It is then placed through the temporal incision with or without the assistance of a second instrument, such as a 0.12 forceps. We will watch the insertion in real time and then go over the details of the insertion in slow motion. It is important to note that there are two movements necessary in order to achieve an atraumatic insertion. One is rotation of the knob at the proximal end of the inserter, and the other is rotation of the entire inserter itself. These movements can be clockwise or counterclockwise. The inserter is placed such that the opening is in the anterior aspect of the capsular bag. The knob is rotated clockwise and the leading haptic catches in the notch, uh, the posterior aspect of the inserter right there, and is oriented such that it is in uh, a horizontal plane, in this case moving to the left. As the optic begins to come into view, the entire handpiece is rotated counterclockwise to facilitate opening up of the optic in the correct orientation. The knob is quickly rotated counterclockwise and the entire handpiece is rotated counterclockwise as well such that the notch is now located in the anterior direction. The knob is now rotated clockwise in order to advance the trailing haptic. If the opening of the inserter is still in the capsular bag, the trailing haptic will also fall into the capsular bag. Although initially daunting, I have found that this particular technique has resulted in easy placement of the IOL on a consistent basis over 90% of the time.